Well, the story today is Shailen Bourne and Victor Kratz in the dance competition. Surefire Hall of Famers down the road. But today, a former Canadian ice dance team is being honored. Tracy Wilson and Rob McCall won their first Canadian championship in 1982, and that was just mere months after they started competing together. On the world stage, they won bronze medals at the 87 and 88 World Championships, but their biggest accomplishment had to be the bronze medal performance on home ice at the Calgary Winter Olympics. Tracy Wilson and Robert McCall. Right off, what I first noticed was it wasn't going to work because they were complete opposites. Tracy was so very tall and carried herself so elegantly. Rob was, was, was taller in stature and build, but we have what we call a standing height and a skating height. When they were on the ice skating, Rob was shorter. Robert was very flamboyant, very artistic. Um, maybe in the moment of performance would push things a little bit beyond where they normally were in practice. Uh, Tracy was the technician who liked to have everything perfect and everything basically the same every time she performed it. They both understood that the other person held some kind of magic number that would complete the other person. And it was that merging of talents and brains and creativity that made them so exceptional. Each time they came out, each year, each competition they came out, they tried to, to go a step further in their creativity, um, in their technical ability, and in their ability to work off each other. Rob and Tracy broke ground in so many different ways for, for skaters to follow. Together as, as partners and each with their own um, visions, they so clearly took uh, at least dancing in Canada and I think also in the world in whole new directions. Wilson and McCall inducted into the Canadian Figure Skating Hall of Fame. And now, as many of you know, Robert passed away in 1991. His mom, Evelyn, joins Tracy for this honor today. And speaking on behalf of the inductees today in Saskatoon is the lady with the mic, Tracy. My colleagues and I at CTV and TSN, we have the opportunity to travel the world to cover figure skating. And I have to admit, the last year has been very difficult to say the least. Our sport has been in a crisis, but it is one that I am confident that we can overcome. Because we, while there may be a few mis misguided souls leading the sport astray, the foundation of this sport is very strong. Also inducted into the Figure Skating Hall of Fame today in Saskatoon, two real unsung heroes of the sport, Barbara Graham, longtime advisor to many, including uh, Wilson and McCall, and the man who coached Kurt Browning, Michael Uranik. Both of them joining Wilson and McCall in the Canadian Figure Skating Hall of Fame. We'll be back to Saskatoon right after this.